Well, another Hollywood director with Trump derangement syndrome. Hey everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to the channel. And yesterday I did my trailer review of the new Blue Beetle movie. And like I said, for the most part, I personally thought it was very mid. It was eh, kind of, you know, not the greatest thing. Looked a little cheap, whatever the case may be. But that very ending, the quote unquote joke of Batman being a fascist, right? That was what was really off-putting to me. That was where I was like, yeah, I'm done with the way things are today. How volatile that word is. There's a lot of things that are associated with that word. It's just not necessary. That was a specific joke that they put in there for specific reasons, okay? That's not just a harmless joke. You got to see past the curtain. Well, I know a lot of people were defending the joke and saying, hey, it's, it wasn't a big deal. Well, there's proof as to why these things matter. And I got to give credit where credit's due. Knight Ronan, one of my channel members, brought this to my attention over here at Yellow Flash. Uh, he's also a YouTuber as well. I'm sure you know him. If you're not, please go check him out. It's a great channel. But he tweeted this out, and this was a tweet that the director from Blue Beetle had posted five years ago. So Flash wrote, interesting. I wonder why the hashtag Blue Beetle director deleted this tweet that's been up for five years. And the tweet says, the only thing that I hope Trump has similar to Lincoln's presidency is the way it ended. Listen, there's a lot of politicians that I don't care for, a ton of them. I really don't wish anything like this. This is pretty bad. And you know how this always works, right? If they think this way about Trump, I can only imagine what they think about anyone who supports Trump because it's always the same thing. So I decided to go through Twitter just to kind of see what other things maybe he's been saying and just kind of what other type of person he is. Well, this is... a. Uh, one of the tweets that I saw the, where this harmless joke really wasn't that harmless, right? Because he goes, this Twitter user uh, translated by Google says, I knew that phrase, meaning the Batman is a fascist, came from your hands, Angel Manuel. I knew it. And then he posted this. Then we have a clip from Geeks and Gamers channel where they posted Ryan from RK Outpost and D-Day Cobra talking about the line from Batman being a fascist. And the Twitter person wrote, George Lopez saying, quote, Batman is a fascist, has these MFers riled up. I need more lines like this from the movie if they're freaking out like this. And he responds, well, my job's done. Someone responded to that and said, hey, watch out. They'll make videos saying you attack the fans. And he was jokingly, I love everyone, man. See, this is the problem that we have about this, right? This is the same thing that Star Wars did in the past. You cannot attack your fan base. You're not going to like everybody, and that's fine. We know Tom Cruise doesn't love every single person on the planet. We know that. But when we see things like Tom Cruise thanking the fan base before a movie saying, hey, we understand, you know, there, things are rough right now. Thank you for spending your hard-earned money and your time to come watch my film. Nothing about politics, nothing whatsoever, just staying focused about the movie. That's how you gain fans. That's how people respect you because at the end of the day, I don't care about his politics. I don't care about none of that stuff. I just want a good story and leads to escapism. But see, these people are incapable of doing that. They have to inject their own identity politics or their own political agenda into the things that they do because that is everything about what makes them who they are. They can't run away from it. Trump broke a lot of these people, unfortunately, and this is who we have that are in charge of our IPs. I don't care who they vote for. I don't it's that's I don't care. Just tell a good story and respect the fans and respect the source material. But no, they don't know how to do that. These people are hell bent on pushing an agenda, pushing their woke garbage, pushing their nonsense, and when this movie completely bombs and fails, well, they're not going to be surprised. I've seen a lot of people who saw this trailer and was like, man, it was actually pretty good so far. And then that little line at the ending was like, okay, now I'm out. Now these types of things, doubling down on it, pushing it even further, nah. Now all you're doing is you're guaranteeing an absolute failure and bomb. But let me know what you guys think down below. Does this surprise you in any way, shape, or form that this director feels this way about a certain group of people and acts this way on Twitter? Not very surprising to me. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. I always love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.